Hey there folks, today in the shop we have the identical machine from that carburetor. It's a different machine, but uh, same machine, basically. Uh, this one is the LX425 and it's in for two transmission belts. And uh, let me just forewarn you, these things are an absolute biatch to change. So I'm going to try and film it, but it's going to be mostly from the floor, so I don't know uh, how well you'll be able to understand what has to happen. But I'll just kind of point out the steps, and um, if I can film it, I'll try and film it. But uh, I think I'll just lay out the steps, and then um, if anything comes up, I'll show you what. Okay, so here's the belt in question. It's pretty much shot. It's too loose to run the machine. It's a variable speed setup, so when you push on the pedal, the belt gets tighter so this belt is designed to slip and uh, every couple of years you got to change it so as you see here around the crank pulley you got this really close belt cover that means that this pulley is going to have to come off or at least come down an inch or two which means this is going to have to come off so in the steps this has to come off this has to come down at least slip the belt off the pulley and then as you can see it comes around the steering shaft so this whole red plate here has to come off there's two bolts on each side that'll drop down and then I can't remember I haven't done one of these in a while can't remember if you gotta yank the pulley here uh, to fit the new belt in between here and there because it's a lot thicker obviously but well, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it and then this goes to a double idler in the back you can't really see here yeah, it's fuck. This is gonna be impossible. But there's another belt here that also needs to be changed. And in order to access that, you gotta go and remove the battery from the top underneath the seat and the battery box, and then you can get to that pulley. So uh, it's a labor-intensive, poor design um, MTD. It's relabeled Toro, and. Uh, yeah, I think what they did is they put the belt on the factory floor and then they built the whole fucking tractor around it. This is one of those situations where I'm not real fond of engineers. This guy, whoever did this, should have his arms cut off with a pavement saw. 